two nice giant trees that have grown here. Give this nice shade. 1876 to 1947. Here's our view of the church so far. And our last set of tombs here on the eighth row. If I haven't lost count. Now we're starting the ninth row. This is the far south left corner. Eighteen sixty nine to nineteen forty six. A little mini row here I've missed. Then we have Anna Samborski. And this says, In memory of our dear mother, 1866 to 1931. So that is probably the mother of Steve Samborski, but it might even be his grandmother because that's a, at least a 35 year each difference, if not more. 1934, 1882. And we've got another couple of ones here. Mid-row, Costia. And here's a fifth Samborski tomb. Michael Samborski, 1858 to 931. So this would be the husband. Uh, the tomb just a few back over. They're not buried next to each other. And we've got uh, two little mini rows here. Nineteen forty three, nineteen forty six. Mate Chuck Kamenecki. That was nineteen fifty two. This one is broken here. Died one month old. Kamineski, 1964. And a couple of last students here out on their own. Alright, we're going to try to make it now back to a normal row. We've done that one, so now we're starting again at the north right edge here. Hmm, Shawaga, 1939. Oh, I don't know, 1980, can't be right, 1880. And that's So we get five Samborskis. There's one in the third row, way at the start. Tattoo, 1858-1935. Eighteen fifty something to nineteen thirty four Mamac, maybe. 
1864 to 1937. Hmm. Mapper Kamehenka. Kozak, Tacoma. These are the tombs getting hard to read. <sighs> Can't even read anything on this one. Some Roman symbols. 1944. 1950. Now we're at the far left edge. So now, going up to the next row at the far south left corner. Nineteen seventy five, nineteen fifty one, nineteen ten, nineteen seventy one. We have two unmarked graves. These are just crosses with nothing written on them. They're buried next to some older Ukrainian, eighteen sixty five to nineteen forty. Nineteen oh nine to nineteen sixty five. That doesn't seem likely to me. That's what it looks like, though. Oh, look at this! Plus, we've got a giant snake. Go over to that cross right there and film the little bug sitting behind it. 1942, 1912. Go over to that cross. Go behind it and film on the ground. Okay, we got 1881 to 1949, maybe. 1917 to 1954. Derbauka. Flick around on the ground. Okay, we got Louis Woloshin, 1894 to So, my great-great-grandfather is Joseph, and his father is Maxim. Oh yeah, so this would be probably the oldest. So this would be my great... No, this would be... Uh, Joseph, who is my great grandfather, was born about 1896. And Louis here is born 1894. So he's the older brother that also came over from uh, either Russia or Poland um, kind of area. Here's another unmarked tomb. Interesting. So out of every graveyard we've gone to, we have found the most relatives here. So the Samborskis are only related to us because the Wolashin's daughter married into the Samborski family in probably about 1930. And we are coming on to the last row here. This is the far right north corner. Semenchuk. Oh, wait, when 1930, 1971. So 
one's really hard to read. Uh, Hokiam Mpabel, 1886-1945. Kuchta. 1862 to 1946 or 8. Mm -hmm. uh, 1875, 1947. Dora and Wazel Yansu. 1878 to 19. <clears throat> Gosh. I can't even read it. Diacu, 1907, 1952. 1908, 1955. Chernesky, lots of Chernesky's here as well. Alright, and we are now on to the final row. There's only five tombs. Another Chernesky. We are in the furthest western south corner. Twenty ninth, two thousand and six, and we have Mitchell and Nikki, two children who both died having a car accident when they were just young. So that brings us to the end of looking at this entire tomb. That was quite a few.